This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, other ho, there's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe on this date. And on this date, October 26, 1986, the 1986 F1 season went up in sparks, as you can see by the picture. If you're watching this with the picture, is that this was to decide the champion of the Australian Grand Prix. So, this would be big and all that. There were three drivers who were ready to try to challenge for the F1 title. Nigel Mansell for Williams, Alan Pearls for McLaren and Nelson Piquet, who was Mansell's teammate. So anyway, Mansell and Piquet had won nine races between them, and it looked pretty good, all that. Pearls had his consistency, that's why he was close on points. Mansell knew all he needed to do was take top three, no matter what. He didn't have to win the race. He just had to take second or third to clinch the title. And no matter if Post or PK won the race, he would win the title. Post or PK needed to win. So in qualifying, Nelson PK by 0.3 seconds to, lost to Nigel Mansell. So Mansell at the pole, PK second. Ayrton Senna took third. And Alan Prowse was fourth. So that was what it was. Canada had Alan Berg in the race and all that. So anyway, 150,000 fans came to Adelaide, Australia for the title run. Mansell would lose to Senna, the lead to Senna and actually fell behind PK and Rosberg. PK would take the lead for six laps. And Rosberg, Kiki Rosberg had the lead. PK spun. Fortunately, though, no damage was sustained to the car. And he fell several places, but he was still around. Post would have a puncture and had to pit. PK charged through and would take second place. And Alan Post was racing. With 25 laps to go, there was Runners on 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. There would be a battle on lap 63 when Rosberg had a tire failure and was out of the race. So, anyway, Rosberg was upset because he was trying to help his teammate Prost win back to back titles. Prost passed Mansell for 3rd and then took second when Rosberg retired. So PK was in the lead with Prost and Mansell, but Mansell needed third place. And then on lap 64, he was on the back, Brabham straight, and at 290 kilometers per hour, his left rear tire exploded. And he was trying to lap a car, showering, sending a shower of sparks flying behind him and damaging his left rear suspension. And let's not forget Murray Walker's iconic call of, well, you look at that. And look at that. Unfortunately, even though Mansell avoided hitting anything, his car was done. And anyway, Williams would call PK to the pits, and Prost would take the lead. PK laid a late charge, but it was too little too late. As Alain Prost was the leader and won the race and the world championship again. So Prost did his job winning the world championship. Second place went to PK. Stefan Johansson took third place. He was lapped down, but he made it. He went ahead of Martin Brando for fourth place. So, anyway. Prost did it. The Renault turbo engine was gone. And Renault would not be an engine supplier for three years. 
This was the last race for Kiki Rosberg and Alan Jones. Both former world champions. And all that. So Alan Post won, Nelson Piquet second, Stefan Johansson, who would later drive Indy cars, would take third place for the podium. Martin Brando, Philippe Strafe, and Johnny Dumfries got points. So anyway, that was just huge and all that. Lots of drivers went out. Mansell, because of his tire, was out. And that was just pathetic how you know. Mansell had the World Championship wrapped up, but lost by two points. Boss won the title with 72 points. Mansell was 70, PK 69. Aaron Tessena was 4 for 55. So, anyway, that was just huge. How Nigel Mansell thought he was the world champion. And if it wasn't for that tire blowout at 200 plus kilometers per hour, he might have been a world champion in 1986. But unfortunately, Alan Prost took the title and not scene of Nigel Mansell's tire failure would actually be in English TV lore, more so for the fact that it was part of the starting um, title credits for They Think It's All Over, the sports quiz show. Although Murray Walker's commentary of Look at That would actually still be in many seasons afterwards, but for different clips. So yeah, it's in the lexicon of British lore. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.